Hey guys, this is a quick video on how to install and remove your Centerlock Speedy. The ones remove the back wheel. You want to give the end cap a quick clean, make sure there's a contamination on it. And then we want to remove the factory Centerlock nut. Take the disc off and remove the factory magnet. Now we need to remove the factory stainless steel washer because we're going to reuse this on our new setup. Give it a quick link. When you receive the new Speedy in its box, it comes pre assembled. The backing plate and the new center lock nut is assembled as one. We need to separate them before we assemble it on the new unit. So to do this, we just push with our thumbs so that it pops out the back. Next, we assemble the original stainless washer onto the new nut. Push it all the way back, make sure it's completely back. Just apply a very small amount of Grease on the threads. We'll just give it another final clean, make sure there's nothing on the end cap. Then put the disc onto the hub. Put our new nut onto the hub. And then with a bottom bracket tool, 40 newton meters. Next we put our backing plate on, there are 16 notches in it and we line them up with the notches in the nut. So first of all you start with one side down and then with our thumbs work our way around until it clicks on. It is important that these two surfaces are flush with each other because that's where the gear runs. If they're not, there may be some sort of interference going in behind the backing plate. Next we put the magnet in, that just needs to engage the outside ring gear, then our cover goes on. It is meant to be very tight because we can't allow it to rotate. So what we do is we push with the tips of our thumbs as close to the center as possible until it is all the way down. Now, if you notice, there's still a gap there. What that is at the moment is it's engaging the gears on the magnet. So just by rotating it, it allows the magnet to align properly. And now we can push it home but we want to be careful that we don't go too tight. That's very, very good. Some bikes have a steel axle and what happens with those ones is the magnet can get attracted to the axle, which makes it really difficult to get the cover on. So what we do in this case is we put the magnet into the cover and then we use our factory magnet that we've taken off, put it on the outside that holds it in position while we press the cover on and give it a little rotate and it'll click into place and then we take that off. What I'll show you now is if you push it too hard, you won't break it, but you will get noise. Now when this happens, it's not bad for it, but it's better to have a slight gap so there's no friction at all and nice and silent. If you push it on too hard and you've got too much noise, don't try and take the cap off. Never try and take the cap off because you will risk breaking it. What we do is we take the whole unit off from the backing plate. We put our fingers right behind the entire thing, pushing on the end cap and lifting it all off as one. This way, the cover is supported the entire way off. So to install it silently, we push down in the center, rotate it till the gear engages, and then go really gently. We know we've got a correct installation when we rotate it and there is no noise. And there's a very slight amount of gap between the cover and the backing plate. You can see that by when you push on the outside edge here. Now we reinstall the wheel. Being very careful, you need to pay close attention to the sensor 
that it does not contact it during assembly. There should always be a slight gap between the sensor and the unit. And also when you tighten the axle, the gap gets smaller. So pay attention to it, that it does not touch. Removing the speedy is as simple as before. Simply grab the entire unit from behind and slide it off the end cap. This way you will not break the cover.